Representatives of unions in the country and the Minister of Labor recently sat down to address pressing issues affecting service delivery in industrial relations at the Labor Department. The Antiguan Barbuda Trade Union Congress, the Antiguan Barbuda Employers Federation, and the Labor Department were represented at a meeting with Dr. Errol Court. More in this report. The meeting was a follow-up to previous discussions held between the parties. Among some of the issues raised were the timely scheduling of hearings and delivery of reports, customer service, review of the Labor Commissioners Act, the need for ongoing training of staff to improve skill set, and the development of new procedures among the parties for greater efficiency. To address some of the immediate issues, short-term plans include the provision of training for conciliators before year-end, the scheduling and hearing of matters within four to six weeks of submission, a revised format for the production of reports to ensure delivery within a month, and the establishment of a registry to handle industrial relations matters only. Minister Cart also indicates that over the year, David Jonas, Keithlyn Smith, and Henderson Bass were hired to help lessen some of the backlog cases at the department. In the expiration of the appointment of these three eminent mediators, and their appointment expire on the 30th of September, Cabinet has agreed to roll over their appointment for another year. So, subject to their acceptance, I uh, am able to say that we would be happy to have these three eminent individuals continue the work that they've started in dealing with the backlog of cases. The Labour Minister says all parties as a part of the conciliation process need to have renewed spirits and make the effort to be present at scheduled hearings. We have a challenge and we need to arrive at some understanding in terms of how we deal with this matter. Is it? that once a matter is set down for hearing and one party or the other party does not come, we will just move ahead to hear the matter in absentia of the other party. Now, I should say that we have started that as a strategy within the Labor Department, but that is less than satisfactory because the whole process is a process of conciliation. And how could you conciliate in the absence of one party? So we need both parties present to be able to properly conciliate. While the meeting is not purported to have resolved all outstanding matters, the parties agreed that tremendous gains have been made, with all undoubtedly improved the department's operations. Union representatives have also committed to ongoing dialogue to ensure the improved efficiency and effectiveness of the Labor Department.